up, there is one group of Auburn fans that, as they say on the plane, have been fearless and true. Reese, broadly speaking, when it comes to college football, Chicago is largely a Notre Dame town and partially a Northwestern town and perhaps partially an Illinois town. But in one small part of Chicago, in the College Grove Heights neighborhood, in one classroom, there's a rabid fan base of a school 770 miles south, thanks largely to the greatest field trip ever. Two schools, one in Chicago, the other in Alabama, brought together by one spirit. Family and love has no boundaries. And now, Schmidt School, they're part of our family. The bond between Auburn University and Schmidt Elementary started with a school project last spring about colleges. So let's see which table is going to be ready to line up. Quinlan Matthews second graders at Schmidt chose Auburn and produced a video to show off their knowledge. Auburn is in the SEC. Auburn Battle Cry started back 1892. I couldn't believe that this group of uh, second graders had taken the time all the way in Chicago to learn so much about Auburn. And so my first thought was, what can we do for them? Over the summer, Schmidt's second graders gathered for a special assembly, including a visit from the Auburn mascot, Albie, and an alum named Bo Jackson. I saw your video, and I'm like, wow, these are some smart kids. These gotta be the smartest kids in Chicago. I didn't even know he was coming. I was freaking out. Who created more excitement, Bo? or Aubie. Between me and you is Aubie. Because it's the mascot and he's very happy. Plus I love tigers. We came here to visit you. But you know what? With this invitation, we want you to come to Auburn to visit us. That's right. You see hope, you see excitement, and you see them realizing that hard work and persistence does pay off, and it's more than any lesson that I could ever teach them. 90% of students at Schmidt live at or below the poverty line. For many of the second graders, this was their first trip anywhere outside Chicago. We were on the plane. One of the scholars whispered to another and said, are we in heaven? And it, it shook my spirit and brought me to tears. For the students, if the September trip wasn't heaven, it was close. From their greeting. This is the Auburn family. Welcome to Auburn. To their stop at the equestrian center. To their taking part in Tiger Walk. They even heard a talk from Auburn football player and Chicago native Jordan Diamond. Dreams are very important. The bigger you dream, you know, the sky's the limit. I was in the same shoes, growing up the same way, and I can be a role model for them because I was, I was, I am them. I still am. The visit culminated with students visiting the field and watching the Tigers win. But they left with their own kind of victory. It was a blessing for us to be a part of planting those seeds of opportunity and dreams dreams can come true. It was just really hard to put into words what it meant um, for the kids and just for the school. Where do you want to go to college? Auburn. Auburn University. Why? Because it's a great school and we already know we're a part of the family. What a special group of students there at Schmidt who've worked so hard to make that opportunity come true. The $40,000 cost of that trip, the majority of which was picked up by anonymous donors and alumni at Auburn. And several alumni have also stepped up to say they would offer to pay for some of the collegiate education of those students, of course, hoping they will one day witness scenes like this on the field at Jordan-Hare, not on a special trip when they're in second grade, but 10 years from now, 
as they're part of a freshman class down there on the plains. A lot of cheers from one small part of Chicago, Reese, to say War Eagle. See if they can turn it around. Tom, that is a great 